Hello there, welcome back. Today I'm metal detecting down in Staffordshire on part of a club dig organised by Rich. Uh, his channel name is Rich Biss Metal Detecting. Really nice guy, beautiful part of the world and there's some really nice folks here today and also yesterday who I'm metal detecting with. Now because of the weather, which is at the moment raining and quite windy and exceptionally cold, I don't think there'll be much footage from myself. Um, and actually that's not only because of the weather, it's because of the fact that I haven't found much. But other people have found some absolutely excellent finds. So I think the majority of this video will probably be made up of little clips that I've stolen from other people. Or borrowed from other people. Now I'll put links to the channels of everybody who attended this in the video description. So please check them out. They upload metal detecting videos way more regularly than me because I just don't get much time for detecting. And as you see from two days detecting, sometimes you just don't find stuff. It's not as if you can go out and find stuff all the time. It just doesn't happen. It's very much hitty missy. If you go over it and you're willing to dig, you'll find the stuff. But if you don't go over it, you just end up with a pocket full of rubbish. Every single person I met on this dig, 100% bona fide nice person. And far from skinny. That's um, that the basketball you got stuck in there. Basketball? Well, there. <laughs> <laughs> well, this gave an absolutely cracking signal, reading 1245 on the CTX. And unless I'm mistaken, I think that is a cartwheel penny. Oh, I am mistaken. Something I don't recognise. I'll give it a quick clean and we'll have a closer look at that. It actually looks like a token of some sort. Um, one, yeah, I think it says one penny. So I'm not sure whether it's a bank token or whether it's a shop token or something, but that's a decent start. Pete, I'm so glad you're on my team. I'm so glad I'm on your team, Rich. <laughs> Looks like a full groat, is it? Looks like a groat, yeah. That's huge, isn't it? I just dug a great big lump of scaffold tube as well a minute ago. Right? Oh, there you go. Mm. Pong Guru's team in the lead so far. What a beauty. Right. Well and signal. You were just talking about hammies and there'll be stuff yeah. on here, there'll definitely be stuff on here. Well, yeah. when I first seen that rim, I thought it was going to be a whole tub, to them. be honest. Oh, what a belter. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Been in and out of the ground a few times and all, judging by the, the black and the, and the and the like the wear on it. I wouldn't have a clue what that is, I think it's copper coins. That's an Edward, isn't it? ED, is that ED? Yeah, yeah, EDV, yeah. St. Edward, okay. Lord. London Mint. Yeah, Harry, you can keep your sixpences. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Pete. Yeah, well done. What a belter. Hey. Oh. I'm chuffed. Awesome. Well done, boys. Well, from the bottom of this hole, which is, God, I don't know, what's that? 10, 11 inches deep, I've just extracted an old penny. This one's going out to Tommy Turbo, who loves to see old pennies come up in videos. There you go, Tommy. That one's for you. That one's 1883. It's a young head Victoria. It's very worn, so you can't really see much detail on it. And just for reference, that one was reading 1235 on the CTX. It was quite a tricky signal, though, because that's a fair old depth. Well, I thought that was a hammered coin, because it was reading 1224 but it's actually a thimble and unfortunately it isn't a silver one well this one was reading very low 1225 which makes me think it was hammered and then a half penny pops out another Queen Victoria hey Harry's on the hammies Edward the first penny around 1272 ish uh, he's got this token here uh, probably from George III times. Uh, he said he reckons it might be Mackin' Fools. He said right. something like that. I'm going for late 1700s with that. Yeah. Yeah, John? 1790s, yeah. That looks like a George the Third half penny. And a... Possibly second. 
George II half penny. Uh, yeah, I can tell by the thickness. And there you go. Thanks, Swan. Harry's on the hammies. Very good. Dogs. <laughs> John 316 and the, the famous Pong Guru. Everybody's filming each other. Hang on. Yeah. On to the next. <laughs> now, the place where everybody stayed for this dig is called Patzel Park Hotel in Staffordshire. Or was it Shropshire? Staffordshire, Shropshire. I know they're very close to each other, and to be honest, I can't remember which county it was in, but it was a beautiful, reasonably small hotel, and it's got a cracking golf course. That's where Rich has his um, golf pro shop, because he's a golf professional. Not a lot of people know that. And it's got pretty much everything you want there. Very, very nice staff. It's also got a fishing lake as well. Um, and it's just really well presented. I'll put a few little clips on now of the hotel, and I'll put a link to the hotel video in the video description. Check it out if you're anywhere in the area because it is a really nice place. That is the tiniest part of a Roman It project. is, yeah, but I mean, at the end of the day, and then getting caught out with the uh, the old pewter buttons. I mean, that one there really got me going. Oh, I Looks yeah. like a big lump of silver, doesn't it? It does, yeah. And then to add uh, to injury, I've got another one, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, catch you out every time, you know. And that's it. And that's it, <gasps> yeah, so. That's about the sum total of my finds as yeah, well. Yeah, and uh, a bit, quite a bit of lead again. This wasn't the best of signals, but I was fairly desperate, so I dug it, and it's a little musket ball. You got them, babe? Anyway, it's just nice and long cross. Yeah. Very nice. Penny. What do you think it is, Rich? Yeah, it's good. Look at Edward to me. Crown on him, I think. Yeah. Very faint signal. Yeah. I get an ID. Right in the clod. Yeah. Well done, mate. Cheers, mate. Very nice indeed. Yeah! Hoo! Just want to give a huge shout out to Rich from Rich Biss Metal Detecting. He organised this whole dig, did absolutely everything. His organisation skills, are a million times better than mine. It's, I certainly couldn't have managed it. And even with the weather, with it being really cold and windy and wet, every single person still absolutely enjoyed themselves. And it's a, it's a real fitting tribute to Rich's dad, who actually died just over Christmas. So the dig was kind of dedicated to Rich's dad. And I'd like to dedicate this video also to his dad as well. If he was half the man Rich is, he would have been an awesome character. <laughs> no, this is, this is Amanda's no. <laughs> little bit of find here, as you can see. Uh, Queen Victoria, uh, 1842 gold. Is it a sovereign, isn't it? Huh? Half sovereign. Half sovereign. Half sovereign. Okay. A little bit chuff. A little bit. Later. Right, uh, I'm here with the number one woman at the minute. The, old, the only woman in the field, but she did find gold. Yeah. So we're. Well, I don't know when this video will be out, but hopefully. Soon. Well, I've just found a little Martini Henry. I don't normally find them. Well, I do on the bullet field, but I haven't been on there for two years, but I'm definitely not there today. Well, I just found this. I think, I've never found one before, so I'm not really sure. I think it's a spear, possibly. Just filming your face fine. If, hopefully, it's good. I can find it. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure now, then. Halfway to Australia. <laughs> Prove this is real detecting. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> the bottom of a car. There you go. <laughs> About a foot deep. <laughs> so moving on to the, to the better work, better find. Yeah. Uh, just put, put this out as well. Uh, Fubar Junior. He's he's got a bit of a man crush, hasn't he? Yeah. Uh, with Pongiru Outdoors. Check him out. 
he's a, he saw him naked in the jacuzzi uh, yesterday and he had stopped talking about his uh, well trimmed um, coin purse I think it's because he does a lot of cycling that's what it is, he has to keep it well trimmed Friction. yeah but yeah stop talking about it no worrying you might not get grandkids you know Fubo's just found a bit of a coin I think it's one of Chinese ones it's a big one and we said it was going to be a big button, and it was a bit of a paintbrush. Hitler's moustache. <laughs> well, this is Raf, man, he's got to find. So <laughs> you've got something, he's got something. Junk. Junk. It just looked a bit interesting, but. It does, it's unusual. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it just looked different. Bit of real detecting. Real, de real detecting means. It's basically bits of rubbish we just <laughs> find all the time. <laughs> but you've got to share the rubbish as well, it's a good. You Mainly rubbish yes. though. It's a, it's a sad time in the video, I do apologise. It's a, a GB93 L3648D. And you know what that means? Your bird's dead. Pretty much the end of the day. There's Rich there, desperately trying to find some hammer coins. <laughs> and uh, in this hole here, I just popped something out that I think is very, very interesting. Just there. It looks very much like a coin. Uh, it's just a little silver. At first, I thought it was gold. I got myself totally excited. But, oh god, it's only George VI as well. That's better than nothing. God, it's been an absolutely desperate day. The George VI sixpence. And my hands are so cold, I can't even rub the muck off it to show you. Ugh. Oh, there you go. 1942 sixpence from George VI. As I say, my hands are so freezing, I can't even get a hold of it. <laughs> I'll probably just end up dropping it before I get it home. It's freezing. But he's had a beautiful find. Rope, mate, yeah? Yep. That's how it goes. Absolutely beautiful. Don't know, mate, really deep as well, isn't it? 30 inches, 12 yeah. inches. There you go, hope you enjoyed that. I am intending to get out and do a bit more detecting this year, but it's just getting the time. So if I get the time and I make some decent finds, I will make videos. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Well, apologies, I'm filming this on my phone because my camera has malfunctioned, but I had a signal in here of 12.20 on the CTX. And it looks like it could be something very, very good. At least I hope it is. Oh man. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's one of those little holes that you fire bullets through. <laughs> <laughs>